100 ml of uh, fresh milk. We're making a dough for dumpling. It's a dumpling dough again. It's not a cookies. using spatula to push this dough. Okay, it's done. And next, you have your, you get some cling wrap. Just put on the surface. guys okay. and I want to knit this too I'll get some extra flour to knead this dough by using your hand. Make sure you wash your hand, okay? Just do it like this. Knead it. Look at this too. Get some extra flour. Need again. Okay, and here's our dough for our dumpling. Okay, get another cling wrap. And we wrap our dough. It's our dumpling dough. Look at this. It's pretty. Make sure you have some extra flour to dust this one like this. And then wrap it again by using this clean wrap. Okay. And we keep this one. We leave Put in the other side. Look at this, guys. Here's my dumpling dough. It's quick and easy to make this. It's good for this coming festive season for Chinese New Year. Wow. It's very important during Chinese New Year for having this uh, dumpling dough. Put the other side. And now, because we're making a dumpling, okay, ingredients for our dumpling, it's here guys, I'm gonna use this one, it's a one-fourth of this uh, red onion, one-fourth, and two cloves of garlic, and I have here 300 uh, grams of pork mincemeat 
and I have fresh parsley. I'm gonna chop this one, not all, just a few of this one. I think it's about uh, four. And some chives I mix together. This is a Chinese chives, look at that, for dumpling. It's here, I'm gonna get some, I think not all of these chives, just a uh, like one fourth cup of sliced or chopped chives and this one, this parsley and some crushed paper and paper powder soy sauce and sesame seed oil it's here our sesame seed oil. It's about a half a uh, half spoon of this sesame seed oil, and we have our light sauce. A half spoon of light sauce. That's all our seasoning, and here's our ingredients for making this dumpling to fill in. For our dumpling dough, it's here. Okay, that's all. Okay, again our ingredients. Okay, again our ingredients: chives, fresh parsley, one fourth of this red onion. I cut into four. Okay, and two cloves of garlic. Our seasoning: light soy sauce, sesame seed oil, and crust paper and paper powder and salt that's all and here's our red onion Cloves of garlic, two cloves of garlic, make sure it's a uh, finely chopped. Mix the garlic and the red onion together, you chop it together. Okay, next are chives. I'm using these chives. One, it's you see this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight. What do you call this one? <laughs> Just uh, make a half cup of uh, this uh, cut or chopped chives. Just through this. And here our parsley, it's here. Just mix it together with our chives. Just uh, chop it. Uh, 
Okay, we'll season this one, guys. Our, here's our 300 grams of pork mincemeat and our corn flour. I'm using half spoon of corn, corn flour. Okay. And a pinch of salt. And our one spoon of uh, sesame. Oil and our one spoon of soy sauce, soya sauce, and our here's our chopped chives and parsley. I mix it together. It's all about a half cup of these uh, vegetables, chives and parsley. That's fresh or it's uh, fresh vegetables, and we have chopped red onion and our minced garlic. Here, I'm gonna mix it together. Here, oops, and we toss this one together. Look at that. Some people are using a uh, egg to mix this one but I'm not using egg or it's uh, optional it's up to you if you want some egg beaten egg it's here look at that here's our mix men's meat with chives parsley corn flour Soy sauce, sesame seed oil, and I'm using this uh, sesame oil. And a pinch of salt. And I'm gonna add some pepper powder. And crushed pepper. And mix it again. It's quick and easy recipe, guys. Here's another new recipe. It's a minced pork. It's a dumpling. It's a pork dumpling. Okay. I'm done. Look at this, guys. How beautiful. And here's our dough for this one. This one is for filling in our dumpling dough. And it's here guys, our dough. So we cut this one. This size, I'm using spatula again. <laughs> okay. Here. Here's our dough, guys, okay. and just, just a bit of, of flour. Okay. Okay, it's here, guys. Our Dumpling do make sure you have a wax paper and dust some flour here on your wax paper and you just uh, put it here 
like that. Look at that. It's a unique way of preparing a dough for our dumpling. And I have this one here and it's more easier. Just uh, put the dough in here. It's like a puff, right? And we fill our our mix uh, here, mix meat with the chives and some parsley and just put it in there inside. Okay, hope it works. It's my first time again guys of making this dumpling and just fold it like that. Wow. It's a unique way of making this uh, dumpling. Wow, look at that. Okay. It's here. Just take this, the extra dough, and open it up. Da la la, surprise! Wow, it's like a puff, but it's a dumpling. <laughs> we can make it as a puff or a dumpling. Yay! The most awaited one for this coming festive season, guys. Here are dumpling. And it's here. I will try another one. Not. I'm not using this one, I'm using my own style. Okay. I'm not a, an expert. Just fold it like this. Push. It's here. And I don't want I need again. I think I prepared to use this one. Okay, just put it there and fill some or mix means meat. Look at that. And then fold it. It's a plastic. Just remove the extra dough and keep on pressing in. And here's our another dumpling. <laughs> it's a puff, but it looks like dumpling too. Actually, I have my uh, it's a dumpling wrapper. You can uh, both this one here at the supermarket or anywhere in the wheat market. Okay, and it's here, guys. I have a ready-made uh, pastry or a wrap for our dumpling. I bought it at the wheat market or the supermarket. You can have this one. It's around in shape because they said. It has the other one. It's a square, but that is for wonton, and here is for dumpling around shape. Okay, it's here. No, I'm making. I have mine. It's here. It's like not totally hundred percent. It's perfect, but it's a dumpling anyway. <laughs> right? It's here. I have a few here. And I have already made a uh, pastry for this dumpling and get some uh, like this. Uh, okay, it's a half spoon. Just fold into half. 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 Half.
half and just press it like this. Or just uh, press it like this. Yeah, you can have like this uh, style. Look at that. Or you get some uh, egg. Okay, I'm using one egg. With this egg. And you can use this one to paste here. Or you can use a water. Look at this. Okay. The more easier. And you can have your dumpling. It's done. Perfect. For me, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking. And get another one. Okay. Open it. And close here in the middle. Just here. Okay. Press in. And the other side. No, don't touch. Okay, it's here. Okay, here, our wonton. And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this uh, quick and easy recipe. It's a uh, dumpling. It's popular in Asia or anywhere, I think. Okay. Press it in. Do you remember to have water or if you prepared? You preferred a uh, beaten egg? Yeah, you can use it. It's ugly. It's weird. <laughs> Yay! Here's my dumpling. And after we make our dumpling, make sure you have a pot of uh, water. You boil it and, oh, before that, I want to add some one chicken cube. Okay. Oh, it's boiling now our water and it's time to put it here or throw in here in our pot. It's here. Which one is the ready made one? You're gonna throw this one if it float, that means it's already cooked. Okay, throw it in. Look at that guys. Oops. Hope it's yummy and tasty. Yummy and tasty. <laughs> Remember if it it's fruit that's the sign that it's already cooked and make sure you have this uh, this pan and this one no oh, it's floating now okay. just go over for just uh, one minute Or just a few seconds. Oops. Okay. 
Now I can make my own. Wow! Looks perfect! Remember to add some uh, chicken cube here in our soup. seconds here not to worry it's not hot okay hi kids my dumpling is ready now ready to eat wow perfect for lunch or dinner for this coming festive season. Okay, it's here guys. Our last uh, ingredients, ingredients or last seasoning for this one because it's already cooked and it's uncooked and cooked and it's here. I'm using this uh, black uh, vinegar is chuka hitam black vinegar hitam is a uh, black in bahasa melayu so i'm adding a black vinegar or a chinese uh, vinegar rice vinegar you can use it and you add some sliced uh, fresh garlic uh, no ginger sorry it's a ginger and Look at that, that's perfect for this uh, dumpling and I'm going to try this one, a piece of this uh, our dumpling, it's here, okay, just dip it here with our black vinegar and fresh ginger, oh, sorry. Mmm, yummy. Super yummy, guys. Try this one. And here's our dumpling. And I can't wait to try this dumpling. It's here. I'm bringing it here outside. Look at this. With our hitam, it's a chukka. It's a black vinegar sauce with fresh ginger I'm gonna try this one I can do it to try our dumpling it's here mm, yummy it's windy here outside and kung si fatai again Hong Pao Lai. See you. Kung si Fatsai, everyone. And thanks for watching.